This content has been deemed inappropriate for children under 13. Viewer discretion is advised. This is for adults only. Adult collectibles. What's up, you guys? This is Zach Jet Dan back with another Every DC video. This time we're talking about Every DC Universe Classics. So then we had World's Greatest Superheroes or All Stars. So you had Shazam, Tim Drake Robin, Al Jordan Green Lantern, the Gray and Blue Batman, Firestorm, and Wonder Woman in the World's Greatest Card Backs. In the All Stars, you had Batman in his Gray and Black, Superman, Power Girl, Green Lantern, sorry, correction, Green Arrow. Nightwing, Flash, and then there was also a Toys R Us version of the Batman. So then in the All-Star card backs here, you actually count them off one through seven, except it's really odd that the Green Lantern one actually shows Wave 20 instead of All-Star, so that's kind of weird and it doesn't show the figure number. Um, but Batman in his black was figure one, Superman was figure two, Al Jordan Green Lantern was number three, Martian Manhunter was four, Flash was five, Deathstroke was six, and Joker was seven. So here are some Toys R Us two packs. You have the Batgirl and Azrael, you have Cyborg Superman and Mongol, Orion and Light Ray in the New Gods figure pack. And Avon Sir and, and Hal Jordan in a Green Lantern figure pack. And here they all are out of their packages. So at a San Diego Comic Con in 2008, you had the Lobo and Dog. And some Maddie Collector 2 packs, you had. Adam Strange and Starfire, Ultraman and Alexander Luther, Romat Rue and Carousel, and Bawana Beast and Animal Man. Again, here they're all out of package. So, more Toys R Us two packs. You had Clayface and Batman. Batman had Dirt on him. And then you had Brainiac and Superman. Another San Diego Comic Con solution 2009 this time was the Wonder Twins with Gleek. And they also came with a eagle and a bucket of water. Then a Walmart 5 pack was the Gotham City 5, which came with Two Face, Superman, Batman, Catwoman, and Lex Luthor. Another Toys R Us 2 pack came with Lex in his armor and Supergirl. Then we had some more All Star figures. This time we had the Batman, the red version of Nightwing, Al Jordan, Green Lantern, and Flash again. This time he had some gold boots and gold lightning on him. Then we have some DC versus Mar uh, Master of the Universe. So you had the Lex and Skeletor, and you had the Superman and He Man. More two packs from Walmart. Gave us the dynamic duo Batman and Robin, Undersea Assault with Aquaman and Black Manta, Fates Intertwined with Hawk Girl and Gentleman Ghost, and Power Struggle with Superman and Parasite. At San Diego Comic Con 2010, you got the Starro figure, and you also got the Plastic Man. Walmart Fat Pack again we gave us the Green Lanterns. With Sinestro in his green, Tomar Ray, Hal Jordan, John Stewart, and Guy Gardner. A couple more two packs that uh, this was the end of the line, so they weren't really released in uh, most outlets. They came to outlet stores instead on discount. So you had the Azrael and Batman. Batman had a little scar on his chest. And you had the Yellow Lantern or Sinestro Corpse, Hal Jordan, and the Blue Lantern, Kyle Rayner. Another SDCC exclusive in 2011 was the Swamp Thing with his Unmen. 
Some more Master Universe versus DC. These are Toys R Us two packs. You had She-Ra and Supergirl, Zodak and Hal Jordan Green Lantern, Stratus and Hawkman, Faker and Bizarro, and Merman and Aquaman. Two packs were Mad Love, Harley Quinn and Joker, and Mighty Mightiest Mortals with Black Adam and Shazam. Another Walmart five pack was the Crime Syndicate with Superwoman, Owlman, Ultraman, Johnny Quick, and Power Ring. And then we got some more All Stars that came out to the line. Pretty much ended with a Superman uh, New Fifty Two, Batman New Fifty Two. You had Red Robin, and you had Superboy Prime. There was also a Supergirl with her black costume that was announced, but we never saw. So there were 20 waves of Collect and Connect figures, plus two that were Green Lantern specific. So the first Build-A-Figure wave was the Metamorpho. And in that wave you had Batman, Orion, Penguin, Red Tornado, and Etrigan. Next wave was the Gorilla Grodd Collect and Connect figure. You had two different versions of Firestorm, two different versions of Aquaman, two different versions of Superman, a Harley Quinn, and a Black Manta. Next, you had Solomon Grundy, and in that wave, you had two different versions of Deathstroke. You had a Hal Jordan Green Lantern, a yellow version of Sinestro, a blue version of Sinestro, and you had Nightwing and Tim Drake Robin. Then we have Despero as the connect, Collect and Connect. The two different versions of Wonder Woman. One of them was Artemis, though. The two different versions of the Batman Beyond. One was Unmasked. Two different cyborgs. Two different cannons that were on his arms. And two different versions of Captain Atom. The silver version and then the gold and red version. And then you had Ares. So then you had the Metallo Collect and Connect wave. This is a very small wave, but you had Black Lightning, Amazo, the Riddler, Adam, and Eradicator. Next one was the Calabot. You had the Killer Moth, Hawkman, the Black Suit Superman, the Long Haired, Regular Suit Superman. You had Mr. Miracle. You had Dr. Impossible, and you had Shazam. The next wave is the Atom Smasher. You had some strange Aquaman, not really sure what that costume represented. You had a Kid Flash, regular Flash, two different versions of Big Barda, two different versions of Booster Gold, you had a Captain Cold, and a Blue Beetle, Ted Cord. So then we have Giganta. And in the Giganta wave, you had a Mr. Terrific, two different versions of Dr. Fate, one with more of a yellow look, one with a gold, Hawk Girl, Gentleman Ghost, two different parademons, one red, and one that was blue and uh, yellow. You had Vigilante, and you had Commander Steel. So in the Chemo wave, that's the next one. You had two different versions of Mantis. One look like, looking like a robot, one with wings. You had Green Arrow, Black Adam, a blue and a black version of Wildcat, Deadshot, you had Guardian, and then you had Black Canary. Then you had the Imperiax wave. This is a Walmart exclusive. You had a Man Bat figure. You had Forager, Robot Man, Beast Boy, Joker, Power Girl, and the Black Suit, Batman. In the Kilowog build a figure or collecting connect wave, you had John Stewart Green Lantern. You had the Cyborg Superman in his. I'm not really sure what this suit would be considered. I guess it's the 
Sinestro Corpse. I don't know why it's red and black, and if that's the case, but I'm pretty sure that's Sinestro Corpse. You have the question. Katma 2 Green Lantern. Shark. Steppenwolf. Two different versions of Steppenwolf. Red and a green one. And then you had two different versions of Dead Man. One was more translucent. Next wave was the Dark Seed. And you had two different versions of Mary Marvel. Or Mary Batson, sorry. You had the red and yellow. And then you had the white and yellow. You had Sod. Two different versions of Spectre. One was more translucent, I guess. You had Dr. Midnight. Eclipso. And the first of the Metal Men, Iron. Next is the Trigon Wave. You had two different versions of Negative Man. Blue Beetle, Jamie Reyes. Donna Troy in her red costume. Two different versions of Cheetah. Blue Devil. Cyclotron. And Superboy. So next is the Walmart exclusive Ultra Humanite. In this one, you had Our Man. Um, forgot his name. Green Lantern. Zatanna. The next Metal Man, Gold. Todd Rice, Obsidian. Tyre. And Kamandi. So in the Balladist Wave, you had Raven. Golden Pharaoh. A Sinestro Corps Batman, OMAC, two different head sculpts for the Martian Manhunter, Jim, Starman, and another version of Starman. Bane Wave, you had the Azrael Batman, another Metal Man, Mercury, two different versions of Robin, the Creeper. Jonah Hex and the Riddler again. And those two Robins are both Dick Grayson. Actually, I'm not 100% sure of that. One of them, maybe Jason Todd. Next is the Anti Monitor Wave. You had all kinds of lanterns. So you had Flash as a Blue Lantern, Adam as a Indigo Tribe, Scarecrow as a Sinestro, the Star Sapphire version of Wonder Woman, Orange Lantern Lex Luthor, white and black versions for Hal Jordan. The Apache Chief, you had Bronze Tiger, two different card backs with that one, but both had the Tiger Head and the Human Head. El Dorado, Toy Man, Samurai, Black Vulcan, and Captain Boomerang. So next is the Stripe Wave. You had Sandman, Magog, two different versions of Hawkman. They got two different head sculpts, uh, both in the same pack, though. Lord Naga, the Atom, and Stargirl. And the last Collecting Connect Wave was Necron. And in that wave, you had Reverse Flash, Dove, Hawk, Red Arrow, Green Arrow, Sinestro again in his yellow, and a white version, white lantern version of the Flash. Here is the Green Lantern waves with Arkillo in this wave. You had Kyle Rayner, Black Hand, Avon Sir in his Black Lantern costume, Mongol as his Sinestro corpse, Manhunter robot, and Mash and Low in the yellow lanterns. The second wave was Stell or Steel. You had the Star Sapphire Carol Ferris. You had Not K. Low and Medfield. You had Dexstar, Despotilus, and Badug. And then you had Red Lanterns of Scalex and Nightlick. And then you had Sodom Yacht as a Green Lantern and also the movie Green Lantern version of Goo. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me any kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Get that thumbs up and check out my other every DC videos. Also, every Marvel Legends and top 10 list, whatnot. And I will talk to you guys later.